welcome to Spotlight in Bentonville. My name is Frank DeSimone, your village president, and today we will be discussing Bentonville Emergency Management Agency here with Don Schultz. Don, welcome to the show. Thank you. On October 21st, it was a Saturday morning, there was a disaster exercise here in Bentonville. Can you tell me about that day? Certainly. Uh, very exciting. Uh, that day was a result of months of planning by a, a team of people made up of uh, uh, representatives from Bensonville Police, uh, the, the Fire District, Bensonville EMA, Public Works. Um, there was a, a large number of uh, people that, that were victims um, to simulate uh, you know, injuries and, and things like that for this exercise. Um, it, it was a, a test uh, for the many response agencies um, from Bensonville and the surrounding area. Um, so it's a very exciting day. How did that exercise come to be? This all started out with a tabletop exercise in which it was kind of a, a walkthrough of a scenario and we just kind of threw out what if, what if this were to happen? What if, you know, this came about during uh, this type of a, an event? And then it, it escalated to what they call a functional exercise where it's still similar uh, kinds of events for, for this scenario but we kind of throw some injects to test the, the people, the players in the room that day. Uh, and then of course, it moves up to the full scale exercise, which we had uh, on uh, Saturday, October 21st, where it's people and equipment out in the field actually you know, responding to a, a particular uh, scenario that we had set up, uh, you know, out in the, trying to, you know, out in the, the real world, so to speak. Right. I know you said Bentonville Police, Bentonville Fire, EMA were involved. What other agencies and, and towns were involved? We had, there were 10 other police departments involved, including uh, Oak Brook, Roselle, uh, Schiller Park. Uh, Illinois uh, State Police District 2 and 15 had troopers that uh, took part in this, um, this exercise. Uh, the NTSB had a representative there that day. There were 18 different fire departments and their, their ambulance crews that were uh, there that day. A lot of the same communities, uh, you know, Bensonville, Addison, uh, Elmhurst, Wooddale, <clears throat> Itasca. Uh, Red Cross was involved, Salvation Army, and Fenton uh, High School and, and District 2 uh, were huge uh, players in this with, you know, the, the the buses that were used and then the the facility Fenton High School for the the briefings and and the the makeup uh, moulage of the victims that day and then of course the the debriefing after the exercise was over so I know we said that we, we had an exercise but the exercise was a downed aircraft correct I mean that's kind of yeah. what we were simulating correct how were you able to simulate that well again I just mentioned that the buses um, I thought that was kind of unique the use of the school buses uh, we had, there were four of them that were uh, that were borrowed from the from the school district, and we put them uh, two side by side, and then two others, you know, turn them around back to back, kind of angled them a little bit so we could simulate like a, a break in the fuselage. They could exit the back doors, but the unique thing that that I thought about the uh, the use of the buses were the narrow aisles, just like you would see on an aircraft, right. and we had people, the victims inside these buses. And the responders had to deal with those narrow aisles like they would, you know, on a uh, uh, potentially, a, you know, a real aircraft, which, again, I thought was, uh, adds, added some realism to, to the whole exercise. So what was your goal for the exercise? Um, <clears throat> there were several goals that were set early on with the exercise. One was uh, scene incident management, uh, trying to use the unified command uh, system where, you know, you have... Uh, fire response, the medical side of things, law enforcement's involved, and how to, out in the field, at the site, how to get all those people together, um, talking and, you know, talking together, their, their command people um, working together to, to deal with the problems that, that come about during such, a, such an event. Site security was another, um, you know, one of the goals that was set, trying to uh, secure the area from you know, people that might want to, uh, uh, sightseers, onlookers. Right. Uh, EOC operations was another important uh, part of the exercise uh, that the, it was a goal. 
because so, by nature, uh, emergency response personnel are taught to take over the scene. So when you have 10, 12, 15 different emergency responders showing up, the tendency is to take over the scene individually. But you were able to kind of get it to a unified command and everybody was to follow that one lead. Correct. Correct. So did you re achieve all the goals you wanted to? Well, uh, it, it's kind of a, there's always some, some parts of your goals that, that you don't probably achieve like you, you hoped you would. And I think that's a good thing mm -hmm. uh, because it kind of shows you um, areas of improvement. There's always room for improvement. Uh, especially on, on something like this. Uh, fortunately, we don't respond to these kinds of things every day. So it's good to exercise, it's good to test, and then take some of these things that, that we talk about in uh, critiques afterwards, you know, what went right, what went wrong, uh, and then take some of those things that maybe didn't go quite as well as we would uh, hoped, and that's what we work on next. That's what we kind of look at and, and tailor the next exercise. So you always look to improve? Looking to improve, Absolutely. always. Absolutely, yes. And I know EMA is involved in a lot of stuff throughout the village and helping out surrounding towns. How can the residents learn more about the Bensonville Emergency Management Program? Well, if they're interested in, in Bensonville EMA, probably the, the best thing to do is, is go to the village website and uh, up at the top where it says departments, click on that, scroll down to uh, Emergency Management Agency, Click on that, and that gives uh, my contact information. Plus, uh, it talks a little bit about some of the things that we we do. Uh, there's photos and some of the things that we've been involved with, um, and it gives people an idea what EMA is all about. And then uh, they can contact me at the office, and uh, if they're interested in, Sign in up. getting involved, and uh, yeah, we take it from there. Absolutely. We'll be right back after the short commercial break. Aquatic Center is conveniently located in the Redmond Recreational Complex in Bensonville. The Water's Edge is home of Fenton High School and Wahoo swim teams, featuring an indoor eight lane lap pool and diving well. The Aquatic Center is available for private functions and parties. Learn to swim, stay in shape, or enjoy recreational swimming year round at the Water's Edge Aquatic Center. The Bensonville Community Library, serving a community of readers. Whether you're old or young, a lover of words, music, or computers, the library has something for you. Check out our new Kindles, Toddler Jams, Story and Movie Nights, or a variety of other activities offered. For more information, call us at 630-766-4642, or check out our schedule on the web at benlib.org. The Bensonville Community Library, celebrating 50 years of library service.
back to Spotlight in Bentonville. My name is Frank DeSimone, Village President. I'm here with Don Schultz, EMA Coordinator. Don, what is the EOC component to the exercise that we were just discussing? Well, that was you know, one of my uh, uh, goals that I had hoped to put in to make a part of this exercise. And so uh, uh, that, was, uh, that was done. The component was to actually set up and uh, have a functioning emergency operating center um, you know, over at the, uh, the police department, which is where our EOC uh, would be located. And then you know, to test that, that facility, uh, was it functional? Uh, you know, did it have you know, all, the, uh, um, all the components that we, we would need during a, such an event? So uh, that was, uh, was important for myself to, to set that up and then test it. EOC is? Emergency Operating Center. Okay, just so people can yep, understand that. certainly. And the function of the EOC would be? To support the, uh, the response to such a, a large uh, ec, you know, incident in Bensonville. Um, you know, you have your on-site people command dealing with what's in front of them, you know, with whatever the, the event, in this case, a, a downed aircraft. Uh, but so the, e, the EOC would take a step back and look at, okay, you still have the rest of the town to, to make sure it has police coverage, fire coverage, um, you know, all the different services. How are you going to deal with not only the, the emergency event, but take care of the, the rest of the town as well? Um, <clears throat> so that's one of the main functions of the EOC is to make sure that that happens. <clears throat> Excuse me. How did the EOC function during this exercise? We did well. Uh, the we did stand it up. We, we the facility was set up as uh, it it would be during you know a major uh, activation, and we had all the uh, I think um, capabilities were were functioning. The one thing I, I wish uh, we were able to test, but. Uh, and that was to bring live feed from the site uh, into the EOC, but unfortunately that was coming from uh, uh, Westmont's command post, but they were involved in a, a real live incident the night before, so they weren't even on scene. So uh, that was one thing that we'll take a look at in the future and, and uh, see how that works. Where do we go from here? Uh, like I had mentioned earlier, take a look at some of those deficiencies, some of those things that maybe we fell short on, and uh, plug those into the next exercise and, and work on them. Try to um, you know, test them further, uh, see if we've worked the bugs out of you know, the, uh, those parts of the exercise we weren't happy with, and uh, you know, con continue to, to exercise. Um, so obviously we're going to have more exercises, more practice, yes, more team oh, building. Oh, yes. There certainly will be. One more time, Don, how can uh, residents find out about uh, the Emergency Management Agency? Going to the website, um, down uh, on departments, clicking on departments, scrolling down to Emergency Management Agency, get my contact information, give me a call. Don, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here today. Make sure you stay tuned next week for our next Spotlight on Bensonville.